No, pero hay ratitos que ya dan ganas de, de desconectarse. Pero no de la clase. Pero no de la clase, claro. Ay, no, no, yo sí. no, de la clase, Adiós. No. Ya iba a terminar la miren antes de empezar. How are you doing? Ay, no. ¿Cómo están? ¿De Justo en el momento. ¿Quieren desconectar? No, no, estamos hablando de, de la jornada, jornada diaria. Sí. Sí, hay que desconectarse. Pero en general, un buen día, mal día, terrible, cansado, ¿cómo les fue? How was your day? Movido. Bueno, ahora, movido. movido. Gracias a Dios no tan cansado. Al menos yo puedo dormir como 20 minutos en la tarde. Ah, you're working from home. Yes. And you, María Adriana, are you working from home? Yo entro a las 7 y salí ahora hasta las 6 y media. Acá hay 7 y a la casa. Hace o poco. sea, que le toca salir de la casa. Sí, voy al oficio. Oh. No tengo teletrabajo. Solo en la pandemia tuve teletrabajo. Ah, oh, ok. Me empezó. Mm. Wow. <ríe> And you, Mayra, ¿cómo te trabajo? Nunca tuve. Nunca tuvo. No, nuestro trabajo sí no, no se puede hacer desde casa. Ok. What about you, Mayra? How was your day at work? Are you having issues with the internet? Creo que está teniendo problemas. Se quedó congelada. Okay, so, but as you were saying, it's no, okay. No. Está bien desconectarse, es necesario. ¿Verdad? Pero siempre cuidarse, porque la, la cosa sigue estando mal. Sí. ¿A nadie de ustedes les ha dado todavía? A mi hija yo la tuve grande. Ya, ya me dio y me quitó un par de veces. ¿Qué? ¿Se reenganchó o solo una vez? No, quién sabe, le digo, si ya me dio y se me quitó un par de veces. Ay, sí, ¿A su hija sí le dio, Adriana? Sí, ella estuvo grande. Ya no, pero salió, pero salió. Ok. Well, thank you everybody for being on time. I see that at least half of the class is here. Ya estamos por lo menos la mitad. Ok, so, did you practice the number? ¿Practicaron los números? So, so. <laughs> so, so. We can use them. Los vamos a usar. So, well, I hope that you have had a good day. We're going to start. Today is Wednesday. Is our class number 13. Almost done. Seven more and we finish. Only seven classes left. This one and seven more. So we are about to finish. Well, uh, yesterday we were practicing how to tell the time in English. This is what we're going to continue doing today. We're going to practice the two different ways to say the time. So, okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, excellent. All right, so today we're going to start out with this. This is part of what we were discussing. Eh, Cómo decir la hora, verdad? Eh, esos ejemplos son como cuando nos están preguntando la hora y nosotros la decimos. Eh, ayer vimos que la expresión o'clock se usa cuando? Yes. Este en punto. En punto. Mm -hmm. The exact time, no minutes. Ok, hora exacta sin minutos. So we use the expression o clock. Y eh, veíamos cómo decir la hora utilizando after 
o past es lo mismo. Ayer vimos past, pero les decía que también se puede utilizar after, es lo mismo. Eh, y el to, ¿verdad? El after o el past y el to, vimos cómo utilizarlo. So, uh, la hora, esta se parece a como lo decimos en español, la primera que tienen acá y es más fácil y es la más usada. Pero es importante que ustedes sepan ambas formas. As you can see here, it says it's 105. ¿Se acuerdan que el cero se puede decir O, oh, verdad? Ok, so it's 105. Aquí pueden ver, decimos primero la hora y después los minutos. Es como lo hacemos en español, así decimos la una y cinco. Este es lo mismo, it's 105. Y tenemos el otro formato que es el que vimos ayer, decir primero los minutos, la expresión after o to, dependiendo de dónde estemos ubicados con el reloj, con las manecillas, y luego la, la hora. It's five after one. So we have the two different ways to say the time in this slide. So we're gonna practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. It's one o'clock. 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 It's five after one. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's twenty to two. It's one forty five. It's one forty five. It's a quarter to two. It's a quarter to two. Right. Do you have any questions so far? Questions so far? No, no questions? No questions. No. Okay. Now, we're going to work on this. Look at these clocks. Say, what time is it? Vamos a decir la hora de ambos relojes de las dos formas que les acabo de mostrar. For example, we have here, what time is it? It's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20. I'll give you time for you to write down the time. So you're going to look at the clock and you're going to write the time in the two ways. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que escriban qué hora es en cada uno de estos relojes. En las dos formas. Que les acabo de explicar.
Are you done with the exercise? Have you finished the exercise? Yes. Okay. Um, what is the time in number five? One. What is the time in the number five here? It's middle uh, five. Is quarter after three or it's three, three? Okay, here it's a quarter after three or? It's three quarter, perdón. I'm sorry. It's three and a quarter, yes. Or it's 315. Excellent. Juan, ask another classmate, please. Okay, uh, Fidel. Okay. Number number three, Fidel. Is it is forty a forty after eight, or is a forty? It's a forty. It's a forty. Ah. No, sería it's forty five after eight. Yes, forty five. <laughs> yes, it's forty five <laughs> after eight. <laughs> Pero andaba bien cerquita, Fidel. <laughs> Thank you, Mayra. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can it's... say it's a quarter two. Podría ser un quince para. Para las que nueve sería verdad. Nine. Okay, yes. it's a quarter to nine. Pero andaba cerca. That's okay. Thank you. Okay, Fidel. Just someone else to continue. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Flor, Flor de María. Flor, are you here? Hi, hi. Hi, Flor. It's 11 to 5. 11 05, okay. And the other way to say that? Yeah, it's 11 05. ¿Y la otra forma de decirlo? 11 o 5 o 5 past 11 past 11 yes very good select someone else to continue Flor. we still have number two and six uh, nelson edgardo in number two or number six number Number two. Okay. okay, number two. It's six forty. It's in forty. Mm. It's a quarter. Uh, and 50. 40? Okay, 50. Oh, 50. 50. Yes, yeah. it's six fifty. Very yes. good. Uh, or it's fifty six. Okay, la primera era it's six fifty. That's okay. Y la otra sería como decir 10 para las 7, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo diría? Yes, it's 10 to 7. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Now, Nelson, select someone else for number 6, please. Flor. Mire qué vengativo se la devuelve. No. La recilla se nota más. No. Sí, con Flor, entonces. Ok, Flor, ¿estás ahí? Número 1. Che, Diego. Yes. Diego. Ok, Diego, número 6. Gracias. Es half past 4. Eh, yes, it's half past Four. <laughs> y también puede decir it's four thirty. Very oh. good, Diego. Good job. 
Ok, we're going to stop for a little while. Vamos a parar un ratito. Veo que ya está la mayoría. Vi que algunos habían escrito que iban a estar tardecito. Gracias, Reina. Vi que escribió. Y creo que Nelson también. Yeah, so thank you so much. We're going to check attendance. So remember to turn on your camera and say present if you're here. Okay, so we're going to start. Let me get ready. Today is karate tent. And here we are in tent. Okay, Darwin Edgardo. Present. Okay, then Miss Anabel. Present. Diego Fernando. Present. Douglas Isael. Present. Okay. Efraín Antonio. Present. Okay. Eric. Fidel Coreas. Present. Okay. Flor de María. Present. Okay. Eh, Juan Ernesto. Present. Okay, Karina Beatriz. Karina Beatriz. It's not here yet. Okay. Luis Alonso. Okay, not here. Uh, María Adriana. Presente. María Estela. Presente. María Vanessa. Presente. Mayra Melanie. Presente. Okay. Nelson. Presente. Eh, Nelson Alfredo. Presente. Nelson Edgardo. Presente. Reina. Presente. Okay, thank you so much. And now we can continue with the presentation. All right. Okay, so we have some time expressions that we studied yesterday. Is it a.m. or p.m.? So you can also use the uh, a.m. or p.m. Okay. So as you can see here in the picture, it's given the time. It says it's seven o'clock and you can add more information. Podemos decir it's seven o'clock y agregar, ¿verdad? In the morning. Or if it is in the evening also, it's seven o'clock in the evening. Podemos agregar esta expresión. It's seven o'clock in the morning or if it is evening, it's seven o'clock in the evening. O podemos utilizar it's 7 a.m. It's 7 p.m. So we can also use a.m. or p.m. when we are talking about time. Okay, we have the next example here. It's 12 o'clock. We can say it's 12 p.m. Or we can use the expression it's noon. Then we have here, um, it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10 p.m. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 12 a.m. or it's midnight. Some of these expressions, we studied them yesterday. Ayer estábamos hablando, ¿verdad? También de las preposiciones, cuando vamos a usar in, cuando vamos a usar on, cuando vamos a usar at. Y también ya habíamos visto estas expresiones. Questions? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, so we can move. All right, we have more practice here. What, what's the time? <coughs> And we have nine different clocks. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the time. What's the time here? Vamos a escribir qué hora es. 
What's the time in number one, in number two, and so on until you complete number nine? Hi everyone. Hi teacher. I'm sorry for my delay. Hi Karina, thank you for joining. Acabo de pasar lista Karina, pero ya la vamos a incluir. Yo creo que usted me había escrito, ¿verdad? Que venía tarde, no no. Sí, 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 yo fui. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Qué bueno que se nos pudo unir. Ahorita estamos escribiendo qué hora es de acuerdo al dibujito. Number one, two, three, okay. y así. Yeah. 
Finish the exercise? No, you need more time. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes more. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Okay, let's check your work. Um, a volunteer for number one. Let's see. Um, Adriana, what time is it in number one? It's 22, three. Excellent, it's 22, three. Uh, choose someone for number two, Adriana. One. Uh, it's it's seven thirty in the morning. Excellent. Juan, select someone for number three. Uh, Mayra, Melanie. Okay. It's ten to six. Very good, Mayra. Continue. Select someone for number four. Uh, um, Darwin, Edgardo. Number four. Four. It's 10 50. Can you repeat, please? It's 10. Yes, it's 10 30. Very good. Continue, Darwin. Uh, Fidel, what's the time number five? Five. Mm -hmm. It's 6 20. Yes, X620. Very good, Fidel. Continue with someone else for number six. And Vanessa. 11.40. It's 11.40. Very good, Vanessa. Continue. Um, Beatriz. Number seven. Seven. It's ten to the to the ten. It's ten to ten. Very good. It's ten to ten. Very good. Uh, continue. Um, Select someone for number eight. Eight. Uh, one. One. Okay. Uh, is is tw twenty. Is 20, 12, 12 o'clock? What is it's, the number? It's number eight. It's 30 o'clock. In the number eight. Es el número ocho, Juan. Ocho. Oh. I'm sorry, it's three o'clock. It's three o'clock. Okay, Juan, select someone for number nine. Uh, Darwin. Number nine is 1220. 1220, yes, very good. So you're doing a great job with this. Uh, so we have this other activity. We're going to continue practicing the time but asking about some activities. Vamos a ignorar el why. <laughs> Porque es como why. It's like continue speaking. You can use it or you can omit it. Lo pueden usar o lo pueden omitir ese why. Okay, so let's practice pronunciation first. What time do you usually go to bed? Ah, yes, at night. So let's repeat. What? what time do you usually go to bed at night? What time do you usually go to bed at right. night? Okay, usually. Let's repeat. Usually. 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 Very good. Usually. What time do you usually go to bed at night? 
What time do you usually go to bed at night? What time do you usually get up in the morning? What time do you usually get up in the morning? What do you often eat for breakfast? What do you eat for breakfast? What time do you usually arrive at the school or work? What time do you usually arrive at the school or work? Aquí como todos trabajamos, podemos utilizar work de un solo. What time do you usually arrive at work? What time do you usually arrive at work? What do you usually eat for lunch? What do you usually eat for lunch? Where do you usually eat lunch? Where do you usually eat lunch? What time do you usually get home from school or work? What time do you usually get home from school or work? You can use work in this one too. Questions about vocabulary? No teacher. No questions about vocabulary? Okay. No, if you want, you can take a picture. Pueden tomar una um, foto o una captura para mientras. Ahorita se los voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. En lo que están en sus grupos, le va a caer para que practiquen speaking. Pueden practicar con esas uh, preguntando y respondiendo. Okay. So you can practice speaking. Lo voy a poner en grupos. Y pues al ratito les va a llegar la presentación para que la tengan ahí en su dispositivo. Meanwhile, you can take a picture or a screenshot. Okay, you have the notification to get in groups. Okay. Okay. Uh, Karina, uh, what do you yes. often eat for breakfast? I um well I often eat egg with beans or oh, cheese or a quesón because I I on a diet. 
<laughs> okay. My turn. Yes. Okay. What time do you do you usually arrive at work? Fidel or sí, Fidel. Nelson. Ah, Nelson. 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 <laughs> Okay. Uh, where, where uh, I, I usually I, I arrive at, at work at six, six thirty, because he, uh, uh, my work start uh, at seven. Uh, always, oh, okay. always uh, I go late, uh, temprano, perdón. What is, what is early. early? Early, okay. Sí, siempre digo temprano. Okay, early, early. Me too. Um, where do you, where do you usually, it's lunch, uh, uh, Juan. Uh, I usually eat lunch one one o'clock p.m. Why? Uh, it is all more eat. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you usually eat lunch? A ver, ¿quién no? Uh, Nelson, el cargo. Okay, <laughs> go back. <laughs> Repeat it, please. Where do you usually eat lunch? Um, usually eat lunch in, in, in chicken. Chicken, yes, uh, because it's, it's a restaurant, it's a, it's a far, and, and I buy, I buy a lunch and, and near the, the work, yeah. Solo una duda, es que yo me confundí en la que me preguntaron a mí y en la que yo acabo de preguntar. La que a mí me preguntaron es a qué hora yo como. Y la que yo pregunté es, ¿dónde, dónde come su lunch? Así es. Yeah. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, ok, gracias. Ok, ¿qué time do you usually get home from or work, Karina? Um, okay, Mayra. Um, what time do you usually get up in the morning? I usually get up at five thirty a.m. Okay, Fidel. Uh, what time do you usually arrive at work? I I usually arrive at work seven o'clock. Where do you usually eat lunch, Karina? No se te escucha, Karina. Ah, creo que tienes problemas Hola. con el micrófono. Hoy sí. ¿Me puede repetir la pregunta? Where do you usually eat lunch? 
I usually eat lunch at my work. Um, quiero ver. Okay, Mayra, what time do you usually arrive at work? I usually arrive at work at 8 a.m. Mm, veamos quién más está. Eh, Juan. Eh, 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 what time do you usually go to bed at night? I usually at uh, bed mm, ten o'clock. Okay. Well, uh, uh, what time do you usually get home from or from work? Uh, Fidel. What is the question? What time do you usually get home from work? What time, que hora, do you usually? Get home. ¿Qué le cuesta? Get home from to school. Eh, eh, get this. De, llega a su casa. De ¿Es después del trabajo. Ajá. Escuela o trabajo. Escuela o trabajo, pero en este caso se tómelo como el trabajo. I usually, I usually get home at 7.35. Ok. Creo que alguien tiene... Este, eh, Mayra, hmm. where do you usually eat for dinner? I usually eat for dinner at bread, cheese, and Beans? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Eggs and beans, meat. <laughs> the only things mm -hmm. that I can eat for 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 dinner. Ah uh, yes, and you Juan, what do you usually eat for dinner? For dinner. What is dinner? Hmm. Cena. Cena. Oh, um, I usually I dinner uh, six six thirty. No, what? What do you usually? ¿Qué? Oh, it's a very difficult question. <laughs> uh, bread, uh, bread. Uh, Bean. Frijoles. Bean. 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 Coffee. Coffee. Uh, cheese. Egg. Maybe. Uh -huh. Egg. 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 Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> typic, typic, typic food. Typic bitch. Uh -huh. um, Nelson. Um, 
What do you usually eat for breakfast? Repeat, please. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Uh, when I I know breakfast. Uh, um, yes, yes, only lunch. Huh? Because um, I I know eating. Yes, uh, more more time. Yeah, so only only lunch, uh, only. In weekend. Yes. Um, uh, any uh, any time, any time. Uh, uh, I I I drink a okay. glass the the each ice only. I'm sorry, I can hear you. You want you can ask. Ah, okay. Um, who or anybody? Anyway. Ah, okay. Uh, 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 uh. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Me? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. No, 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 uh, a question? Sorry? What time do you usually get up in the morning? Um, five, five thirty. I get up in the morning at five thirty. Thirty. Okay. Um, quiero ver, quiero ver, ¿qué, qué falta? Vamos a ver. Um, Juan, eh, yes. Quiero ver, quiero ver. We, eh, get out. Quiero ver. What do you usually eat for lunch? Eh, I usually, usually for lunch, eat for lunch. Mm. Uh, Chicken? 11, 11, 11, 30, 11, 30. Eh, mm, la pregunta es que qué comes en el almuerzo. What? Ah, what? Yes, what do you um, usually eat for lunch? Eh, I usually eat for lunch uh, soup. Uh, macaroni, uh, chicken, okay. uh, rice, uh, salad. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do you usually? No. What time do you usually get home from work? Uh, Nelson Edgardo. Mm. Repeat, please, again. What time do you usually get home from work? Uh, mm, usually, uh, I I go back um, at 6, 6 p.m. 6 p.m., yeah. Um, it depends because uh, 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 traffic is is more. Is is seven go back at home? Yeah. Um, what? Okay. Um, what do you often of What do you often eat for breakfast? Uh, Dubla. Uh, que no sé qué significa often. Often es como ah, no, no. algo que seguido, algo que Ajá. sucede con mucha frecuencia, como yes, normalmente. Yes. Ajá. Ajá. Es parecido. Ajá. Similar. 
Um, I have, I have it for breakfast, uh, pupusas and coffee. Um, well, plátano se dice banano, verdad? Banano. Banana, banana. Uh -huh. banana. Okay. Si, si es plátano frito, es fried, frito, fried ah, banana. Fried. Uh -huh. Ok, fried uh, and cream. Uh, crema es lo mismo, sí, ¿verdad? Cream. Cream. No. Queso, cheese. Um, etc. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Mayra. <clears throat> what time do you usually get, get up from our work? I usually get home at um, 6.30 p.m. Okay. Okay, Fidel, what do you usually eat for lunch? Fidel. Sí. Fidel. Hey, Fidel. <laughs> I will repeat the question. Uh... What time do you usually arrive at work? I usually arrive at work at 7, 4, 45. Okay. Next, Douglas, what time do you usually get home from or work from work? Okay, I usually get, get up, get home from or work at um, four, four o'clock. Why? Um, I work for el tráfico, no sé. <laughs> ¿Cómo se decía? Um, Because I, of I the usually, traffic. Sí. Eh, I usually eh, no sé. Usualmente salgo más tarde, pero en ocasiones. Finish your room. See you later. See you later. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your grand discourse is coming mute. No me dicen. <laughs> okay, so I heard you practicing. You were doing a very nice job. It's time to check attendance for the second time. So I will ask you to please turn on your cameras and say present and raise your hand. Okay, let's see this to you. No. Uh, Darwin, here you are. Oh, oh. Delmis. Present. Diego Fernando. Present. Okay, Douglas Isael. Present. Efraín Antonio. Present. Fidel. Present. Flor de María. Present. Okay, Juan Ernesto. Present. Karina. Present. Okay, Luis Alonso. 
No se ha unido todavía, Luis. Ya lleva varios. Ok. María Adriana. Present. María Estela. Present. María Vanessa. Present. Mayra Melanie. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Y Reina Beatriz. Present. Ok. Thank you so much. Ya les mandé la presentación. Okay. Ah, we have this one. This one is called Find Someone Who. Ya habían jugado esto antes. Find Someone Who. No, nobody has played that before. Okay. El Find Someone Who. Es encuentra alguien. Encuentra alguien quien. Entonces vamos a encontrar a esa persona. Eh, cuando yo la encuentre, escribo el nombre de esta persona. Vamos a encontrar do, ah, preguntando do you. Eh, for example, I, uh, tenemos que preguntarlas todas. Eh, Do you? Vamos a preguntar. Acá está, pero me voy a mover esto. Acá. Do you? And the question. So I ask Nelson Amaya, do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? No. Do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, ok. Entonces ya lo encontré. Encontré una persona que siempre se levanta antes de las seis en la mañana y es Nelson. Entonces yo pongo Nelson Amaya. Ahora voy a buscar esta persona. Eh, y sigo. Delmi, do you always have a big breakfast? Yes, I do. A big breakfast, always. No, 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 not always. No. <laughs> Ajá, tengo que encontrar a alguien que siempre, siempre es siempre. Alguien mm -hmm. que siempre coma un gran desayuno. Pupusas, tamales, unos tres panes, yeah. etc. <laughs> Pero que sea siempre. Entonces, si alguien me dice, yes, I do, pongo el nombre de esa persona. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Sigo preguntando. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's practice the questions first and then you tell me if you find your vocabulary. Let's repeat. Do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? Do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? Do you always have a big breakfast? Do you always have a big breakfast? Do you do you exercise two or three times a week? Do you exercise two or three times a week? Do you go online more than three hours a day? Do you go online more than three hours a day? Do you do homework after class? Do you drive to work? Do you have meetings on Monday? Do you have meetings on Monday? Okay. Ahora, si la persona le contesta sí a la pregunta, entonces usted pone el nombre de la persona. Is that clear? Is the vocabulary clear? ¿Hay alguna pregunta con el vocabulario? ¿Está todo claro? Clear. All clear. All clear. Okay, so I want to place you in groups and you will complete the activity. Los voy a poner en grupo para que puedan hacer la actividad. Okay, 
Join the group so you can ask the questions. Okay. Alguien tomó captura de pantalla de la de la de las de Ahí en, en la presentación envió el de teacher al grupo. Sí. Ay, vamos a ver. Ay, pero no lo tengo aquí. Se quieren. Alguien lo puede proyectar, por compartir. ¿Alguien puede? Sí, ¿no? <risa> yo creo que nadie lo... Yo lo tengo, yo lo puedo proyectar. Denme un segundo. Gracias. Gracias. No sé si pueden ver mi pantalla. Eh, sí. Sí, gracias. Vale. Gracias. Vaya, no sé que sí. ¿Quién quisiera <risa> iniciar? Inicio yo si quieren. Vale. Ok, veamos. Eh, Darwin. Do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? No. Tengo que decir no hay gusto, solo no. Sería no hay don't. No hay don't. Ok. Pregúntale a alguien más la siguiente. O no sé si vamos preguntándoles a todos para ver. Creo que era en general y tenemos que ir contestando. Yes, do, si hasta que encuentre, hasta que encuentre quién se levanta a las seis de la mañana. Ok, veamos. Flor de María. Do you always get up before 6 a.m. in the morning? Yes, I do. Va, eh, encontramos. Va. Flor de María. Flor de María. Boys. Okay. Beatriz, do you always have a big breakfast? Yes, I do. Ah, Beatriz. Beatriz. Dijo que comía tamales, avena, completo. De todo. No, como desayuno completo, realmente sí. Creo que ese es mi sostén de todo, de todo el día. De todo el día. <ríe> sí. Es clave, para, es clave para tener energía. Sí. Yeah. Vale, eh, quiero ver. Diego. Era going. Diego. Do you? Mm, do you, do you exercise, exercise, exercise two exercise. or three? Exercise. Exercise. Two or three times mm -hmm. a week? Eh, yes, I do. Vaya, me toca entonces a mí. Vamos a ver. Do you go online more tabs? Three hours a day, Darwin? Yes, I do. That's all. <laughs> Sigue Darwin. Sí, seguí con la siguiente. Mayra. Do you do homework after class? Yes, I do. Okay. Tell me, mm -hmm. do you drive to work? No, I don't. Okay. Diego, do you drive to work? Yes, I do. Okay. 
Okay. ¿Qué más hará falta? Vamos a ver, Adriana. Estela y a Walmart. Hola. Hola. Ah, do you have meeting on Monday? Yes, I do. Eso. Este, Flor, Flor de Marí. El güey, how big breakfast? Al güey, how big breakfast? No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Tiene que seguir preguntando, Adriana, hasta que alguien le diga que sí. Este, la compañera, no, no alcanzo a ver el nombre de A María Estela no le hemos preguntado. María, María, do you always have a big breakfast? No, I don't. Mm. Delmis? No, I don't. Sometimes, <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> but not, on, not always. Diego, ¿te gusta conmigo? Yes, I do. Me mira, Diego. Do you exercise two or three times a week, uh, Flo? I don't. Perdón? No, I don't. Me falló. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Uh, do you exercise two or three times a week, Darwin? Yes, I do. Darwin. Yes, I do. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Reina. Hi. Do you drive to work? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, quiero ver. Adriana, eh, do you do? Quiero ver. Ha, no. Yes, I do. Espere. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have meeting on Monday? Adriana. Hola. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Bye. Hoy a Adriana. Do you drive to work, Darwin? No, I don't. Um, do you drive to work, Beatriz? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, ahora. ¿Quién pregunta? I do. Um, do you always get up before six? No me pasa otra vez. <laughs> okay, so I see that everybody's back again. So um, let us continue with the presentation. All right, um, I hope that you have fun all, all those persons. 
Now we are going to practice vocabulary. Um, we're going to match the words on the left with the meaning of the right. Uh, we have this, let us repeat, and then we're going to try to match them with the definition. Let's repeat, arrive. 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 Enjoy. 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 For a while. For a while. Get dressed. Get dressed. Hang out. Hang out. Kids. Kids. Routine. 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 Shave. 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 One more time. Arrive. Arrive. Enjoy. Enjoy. For a while. For a while. Get dressed. Get dressed. Hang out. Hang out. Kids. Kids. Routine. Routine. Shave. Shave. Okay, what we're going to do is to try to match the words with the definition without translating. Don't use Spanish. Try not to. For example, the number one will arrive. It's letter E. To come to a place after traveling. That is the definition, arrive is letter E. To come to a place after traveling. This one is easy, enjoy. What is the definition for enjoy? To put clothes on? No, right? To like? The same way always do something yeah. to be at some place and rest in your free time. To esta y esta, that's done to come to a place after traveling. Children for a period of time or to cut off the hair that grows on the face. What mm -hmm. is enjoy? What is it? To like. To like. Okay, so number two. Letter B, enjoy is to like. Mm -hmm. What is the mean enjoy? Enjoy? <laughs> Can someone tell him? Disfrutar. Disfrutar. Entonces, cuando algo se disfruta, es que nos gusta. Entonces, oh, oh, it's yeah. the same. Uh -huh. Es como la definición de, de algo que se disfruta. Es gustar, right? Enjoy to like. Las pueden ir haciendo como por discriminación, ¿verdad? Primero las que saben y después dejar las, las que estén así como un poco más difíciles. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, oh. let us check. So number two, enjoy is to like. Now for a while, in number three, what is the definition of for a while? For a period, yeah, for of, a period. period of time. For a period of time, uh huh. Por un periodo de tiempo. So, cuando decimos for a while, es como decimos por un momento o por un rato. For a while. Por un rato. Now, um, get dressed. That is easy. Get dressed. To put clothes on. To put clothes on. Ponerse ropa. That is get dressed. On. To put clothes on. It's letter A. Now, hang out. Uh, to be at some place and rest in your free time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Estar en algún lugar y descansar en su tiempo libre. Relajarse. Chilear, dicen a veces. Let's be chill. To relax. Hang out. Okay, now, uh, kids. Children. 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 Routine. The same way of always doing something. That is correct. The same way of always doing something. Es la misma manera de hacer siempre algo. Eso es una rutina. Shave. To go to the place. That go in the face. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería como rasurarse. Ajá. Uh -huh. That is shave. Ok. Espero que hayan aprendido alguna que otra palabra nueva ahora. <laughs> That's okay. And we're going to use them. Las vamos a utilizar acá. Vamos a utilizar estas que están acá. Son las que acabamos de ver y algunas cuantas nuevas. In the World Bank. Tenemos este World Bank. Let us practice. Arrive. All right. All right. Do exercise. Do exercise. Enjoy. Enjoy. Fall asleep. Fall, Fall asleep. asleep. Fly. 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 Get dressed. Get, Get dressed. dressed. Get up. Get up. Get up. Uh, Go to bed. Go to bed. bed. Go home. Go home. Go home. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Have. 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 Take a bus. Take, Take a bus. bus. Alguna nueva acá? Hmm? Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. Es como ya caer dormido. Dormirse. Mm -hmm. It is okay. Hang out. Hang out. Hang out. Está bien escrita la palabra asleep. Sí. Mm. Fall asleep. Así es. Fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Hang out. Hang out. Es como relajarse, pasar el tiempo en algún lugar o con alguien. Pasar o salir. Hang out, salir. Yeah. Uh -huh. Salir. Salir. Ok, any other? Ok, estas, eh, bueno, ya todos tienen la presentación. Estas palabras, estas que están acá, las vamos a ir colocando en un párrafo que es este que está acá. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno y colocar número uno y qué palabra va ahí. No es necesario que lo copien todo, porque si no, nos va a llevar lo que falta de, de esta última hora. <ríe> so you just complete number one y la palabra que va ahí. Las palabras que van a usar son estas. Arrive, do exercise, enjoy, fall asleep, fly, get dressed, get up, Go to bed, go home, hang out, have, or take a bus. ¿Cuál iría primero? Some of my friends think I have a boring daily routine, but I like it. I usually get up at 6 or 6.30. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál podría ir ahí? Get up. Exercise. Podría ser get up. In the morning, uh huh.
Take the bus. Take a bus. Uh -huh. mm. Les voy a dar tiempo para que vayan leyendo y colocando como qué palabras creen que va en cada espacio. Get up podría ser una muy buena opción aquí arriba. Get up.
You can use any word from the bank. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de las palabras del word bank. Pueden utilizar las que vimos en el vocabulary practice, meaning that pueden usar palabras de aquí, pueden usar de estas, o pueden usar una que crean ustedes más adecuada. O sea, puede que no esté acá. Ok. Okay, let's see what options do you have for number one. Get up. Get up. Sí, get up es una buena opción. Y number two. No sé si sería false left. Bueno, pues de esa manera. ¿Y de exercise? No. In the morning. In the morning In podría the morning. ser. In the morning, yes. After my alarm clock wakes me up. First I brush my teeth and shave. And wash? My face. My face. My face. Uh -huh. yes. Then I get dressed and go downstairs. I have, I have breakfast. Have, have breakfast. breakfast. O si pusieron eat breakfast también puede ser with my family. I always have coffee, cereal, and lots of fruit. That's me in the picture with my wife. I take the bus to work because I go don't to the like, I don't like. Uh -huh. I don't Dice yo like como el bus porque yo. No me gusta manejar, puede ser. I don't like to drive. Excellent. I always arrive at my office before eight. I'm never late at work. At work, puede ser at work or for. At or for, cualquiera de las dos. Very good job. Uh, five o'clock is my favorite time of the day because I finish work and I go home and I see. 
Sí, podría ser. And I see, o solo see, my wife and two children again. We eat dinner together in... In the dining room. Podría ser in the dining room. O podrían poner el posesivo nuestro. ¿Cómo era nuestro? ¿Se acuerdan? In our. 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 Uh -huh. yes. In our dining room. También podría ser at around mm -hmm. six. And after that, I hang out with my wife and kids at home. We really enjoy watching our favorite TV programs together. But do you have a number one? Podría ser por dos o tres, for two. Or two or three times a week, podría ser. I have do exercise or say? Do, okay. I do exercise. exercise. Very good. In the I evening. do exercise in the evening so I can be strong and healthy. This is very important. Finally, at about 9.30, I go to bed, read for a while, and then I fall asleep. Sure. Some. Some. People. Yes. Some people. Some, some people. Yes. Algunas mm -hmm. personas. Some people think my daily routine mm -hmm. is a little boring. Mm -hmm. But on weekends and holidays, I love to fly planes. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Uh huh. That's okay. It's fun. Good. Okay. Now let us continue. Page number 33 of your agenda, you have um, Mr. Robles' agenda in your material. Este es en la página 33 de su material. Este, solo leer, en esta parte solo leer la agenda de la señora Robles. Let's see, at 7.15, meeting with the marketing department. Then at 8.30, video call with the supervisor from West Company. Nine, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. At 12, workshops lunch. And a quarter to two, second part of the workshop. And five to six, Send tomorrow's schedule to Mrs. Lopez, the new secretary, and leave. Alguna palabra nueva? No vocabulary? Eh, schedule? No sé cómo sería. Schedule. Uh -huh. Do you remember what is the meaning of a schedule? Horario. Horario, Horario itinerario. Mm -hmm. That is a schedule. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Gracias. In workshop. 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 Uh, workshop es como lo que conocemos. Taller. Taller. Pero no un taller mecánico, sino taller que esos talleres. Trabajo. Como capacitación. Una capacitación. Mm -hmm. Esos son uh -huh. workshops las capacitaciones workshop improve improve es mejorar mejorar aquí dice que quieren mejorar el proceso de manufactura Improve the manufacturing process. Mm -hmm. Any other new word? No. Okay. Now. We're going to read the information again to answer the questions. The first question is, what time is the video call with the West Company? 
What time is the video call with the US company? Time is the video call with the US company. What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the workshop with the research department start? What time does the company close? What time, what does, time does the company close? Company close? Okay, so what you have to do is to answer these questions with the information that you have in the agenda. Tenemos que contestar con la información que está en la agenda. For example, number one, what time is the video call with the West Company? Yes, it's at 8.30. Mm -hmm. yes. Es a las ocho y media. So you answer, it's at 8.30. Now, what time does the workshop with the research department start? It's at night. It starts at, at nine, nine o'clock. O'clock. Very good. Number three, what time does the company close? It closes at five, at six, five to six. Uh -huh. Excellent. It closes at five to six. Okay. And we are done with this exercise. Now, Remember that we, we studied this. Esto es lo que vimos ayer, ¿verdad? Discutíamos how to use questions with what time. Um, we have this one. Uh, what time is it? It's eight after one. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive to work? At about 6.48 a.m. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30. Decíamos que cuando estamos dando la hora, como acá, que dice what time is it, nos preguntaron la hora, entonces contestamos utilizando it's y luego mencionamos la hora que es en ese momento. Ahora, cuando estamos diciendo a qué hora sucede algo, utilizamos at. No estoy dando la hora. No estoy diciendo qué hora es ahorita. Sino que estoy diciendo a qué horas empieza la meeting. Entonces utilizamos at para decir a qué hora sucede algún evento. Por ejemplo, si preguntamos a qué horas termina la clase. The class finish at. Ten. No estoy diciendo qué hora es ahorita. Ahorita no son las diez. Estoy diciendo a qué horas termina la clase. En esos casos utilizamos at. Pero si me preguntan la hora y yo voy a decir qué hora es en este momento, utilizamos it's. ¿Ok? Eh, questions. Ok, aquí vamos a completar utilizando what time do or does. For example, number one, it says there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? It starts. Entonces vamos a completar con what time do o what time does it start. ¿Cuál utilizaría en esta? What time do o what time what, does? What time does. Excelente. Utilizaríamos what time does it start. What time does it start? Y así van a, a completar la 2, 3 y 4 usando what time do o what time does. I'll give you two minutes.
Okay, so number two, a volunteer to answer number two. Hi. Uh, Greet, uh, what time do you arrive? What time do you arrive? Excellent. That is the answer. Number three, volunteer. What I do, that. What is, what I do. What is the answer for number three? What does. time does what time does the photocopy center open? Cool. Number four. What I does. Do. 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 What, what time I do? do? What time do they open? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, moving on, you were supposed to create your schedule in this one. Create your schedule with all things that you have to do during the week. Then go around the classroom and check other partners' schedule and ask the time of their activities. Esto lo podemos hacer quizás mañana. Ahora recién vimos como vocabulario que pueden utilizar. Entonces mañana van a hacer una agenda completa de, de su itinerario, incluyendo lo más que puedan del vocabulario que hemos visto. No necesariamente tiene que ser exclusivamente de lo que hacen el trabajo. Puede hacer una combinación de ambas cosas. Desde que su día sí. empieza en la casa, como desayuna, si desayuna en la casa, si desayuna en el trabajo y hacer la combinación hasta que regresa a la casa y se duerme. That is for tomorrow. Now, we're going to move to this conversation. Okay, we have this conversation here. And as you can see, those two people, well, they are speaking, they are in front of a restaurant. And let's see what is the conversation about. Let us practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. Okay, okay. After sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? What time do you get up on Sunday? At Sunday? At 10 o'clock. At at oh, that's early on Sunday. I get up at noon. Oh, oh that's early. That's early on Sunday. Sunday. I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Really? really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Sure, sure, I breakfast every day. every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Then, then let's meet let's at meet this restaurant, restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. day. Okay, very good. Remember, aquí no pronunciamos la e, solo decimos serve. 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 Aha, excellent. Mm -hmm. Questions about the vocabulary? Ser. Servir. Okay. Aquí está diciendo yo sirven desayunos todo el día. Okay. Any other new word question? No questions? No. No, okay, listen. let's no, practice listen. one more time. Yeah. Let's repeat. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the go park, park on Sunday. Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Okay, okay but let's, let's go, go in the afternoon. afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. I sleep, I sleep late, late on, weekend. on weekend. What time do you get up on Sunday? What, what time, time do you get up, you get up on, on Sunday? Sunday? At 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Oh, that's, oh, that's early. early. On, Sunday. On, Sundays, on, Sundays. on Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sundays, I get up at noon. 
Really? Do you eat breakfast really? then? Really? Really? And breakfast. Sure, I have breakfast every day. Sure, I have breakfast every day. Every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Then let's meet at this restaurant at o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, volunteers to practice the conversation. Volunteers? Me. Who say me? Karina? Yes. Okay, who wants to practice it with Karina? Me. Fidel. Okay, okay. let's listen to Karina and Fidel. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's Go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On some days, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day okay. okay excellent job you did it very very good excellent now next two volunteers me nelson edgardo and me? darwin okay okay let's go let's go to the park on sunday okay but let's go in the afternoon, I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at the restaurant at one o'clock. They serve us breakfast all day. Okay. Okay, very good job. Excellent. Se ve el cambio. Se ve de verdad. Están pronunciando mucho mejor y más seguros que al principio. Y esta es la tercera semana. Congratulations, guys. Okay, we still have chance Thank for you. one more. Tenemos chance Thank para you. uno más. Me. Okay, Efrain, who wants to join Efrain? Me. Okay, let's listen. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I at least play on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Really? Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. You did an excellent job. Thank okay, you. so with this we finish the, today's class. Con esto terminamos la clase de ahora. Muchas gracias a todos por su participación. Este, los veo mañana y no les quito más tiempo. Espero a los que tienen eh, sección ahora. Pues ahí nos vemos y me pregunto. Okay. 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 Okay.
Nelson Edgardo es el primero. So, see you there. Bye.